Welcome to your Weather on Demand. I'm meteorologist Wesley Williams from OpenMichiganSource.com. Yesterday we had a high temperature only 62 degrees. The day before that on Monday it was 83. And today's high temperature will be even colder, probably around the 50s. That's at least what we're forecasting for. Take a note of the record low last night of 27 degrees set back in 1965. Tonight's low temperatures are forecast to get as low as the upper 20s. A look at why north winds across the area meaning we're seeing cooler temperatures being brought on from areas north of us. A look out at the regional and national satellite loop and you see that uh, here's that low pressure center. You can see it spinning here. Most of the clouds with it continuing to head eastward behind it. Clear air is uh, moving our way, but we're watching a disturbance down to the south, the blow up of thunderstorms out ahead of it. And we could see that moving closer to our region later on this week, bringing a chance of rain showers. So here's the clear air brought on by high pressure. Also, colder air to our north. Look at all these dark colors up here. That's indication of very cold temperatures. And with the north wind, it's blowing right across Lake Superior. So areas near Lake Superior today will be the coldest of all Upper Peninsula areas. But high pressure will work in later this evening, managing to bring dry air and some sunshine into our forecast after some morning clouds and showers. But it'll be overall a cool forecast. And then on tomorrow. High pressure is still in control locally, so we'll see even more sunshine than we saw today. But a low pressure system down to our south, that's the same disturbance that I showed you earlier on the satellite loop, is going to start making its move up towards the Great Lakes region, possibly bringing rainfall with it. Here's a look at that with the model, and I'll show you what I mean. Cloudy this morning, sunny this evening. It will be a beautiful end to the day with a beautiful sunset. Clear skies overnight, though, means things will get very chilly in the UP with those calm conditions. We're staying sunny during the day on Thursday, but here's the clouds from that system down to our south. Watch the track that it takes. It brings it all the way up into lower Michigan. And uh, earlier this morning, this track was actually further westward. So I'm actually um, seeing now that the newest information is putting it even further eastward. And most of the other models keep this system further out to our east, mainly over across Toronto and Instead of actually right across the UP, but still the chance remains in our forecast to see some rain showers from this system, mainly on Friday into Saturday. 49 to 54 for your high city. This is as warm as it's going to get, folks. So definitely want to plan to dress accordingly to that tonight. Look how chilly it is. 28 for the low in the west, 34 for the low in the east. It will be one of those nights to take those plants indoors if they are sensitive to cold weather. Your TV six day forecast. We warm things back up tomorrow. 60 degrees is possible again and warming up even more this weekend to near 70.